Hello, my name is James Dodd, and I'm a computer engineer and the leader of Capstone Team 19 here at Liberty University. My team and I have been working with FarmBot during the fall 2019 and spring 2020 semesters to design a weed whacker tool that integrates with the FarmBot version 1.4 and extra large version 1.5. With the help of Mark Rowland, Director of Marketing and Sales for FarmBot, we have designed a fully functional prototype weed whacker tool that can replace the pre-existing weeder design that FarmBot had been using. Hello, my name is Noah Hertzler. I'm a mechanical engineer here at Liberty University who's worked on the design of the weed whacker tool. Our requirements for this tool were to create something that would easily integrate with the FarmBot and would provide a way for the FarmBot to handle any weed in a very efficient manner. Our design made sure the tool would be able to withstand any weather condition, as well as maintaining FarmBot's open source standard. Other than the electronics, our device is fully 3D printable. Additionally, all parts are either designed to last or are fully replaceable in case of a failure. Hello, my name is Ethan Sawyer, and I am an electrical engineering major with Liberty University. I have been tasked with working on the electrical components of this device. The motor we used was chosen largely due to its high accessibility, being available on Amazon, its low cost, and its high RPM count. In addition, its input voltage rating ranged from 12 volts to 24 volts, which was easily controlled by a step-down regulator like this. By using a voltage regulator in line with the peripheral control port from the Farm Juino, we were able to have a toggleable and controllable voltage going to our motor, allowing us to manipulate our RPM and still have high torque. We also put a 3 amp glass fuse in line with our voltage controller. In doing so, we were able to ensure that our device did not exceed the current rating of the UTM, its wires, or the farm Juino. In order to wire this fuse, we used an inline fuse holder, like this one. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to assemble the Weed Whacker tool, designed for FarmBot Genesis versions 1.4 and XL 1.5. To begin, connect the motor to the base plate using M3 by 10 mm screws. This base plate not only serves as a mounting point for the motor, but also as a protective shield to prevent debris from entering it. Your final result should look like this. Using two M3 by 10 mm screws, the motor has been securely attached to the base plate. The next step is to insert the motor into the housing at the narrow end. Using four more M3 by 10 mm screws, we will be connecting that base plate to the rest of the housing. With the lower end of the housing fully assembled, it's time to set that aside and begin working on the top end. Begin by preparing two lengths of wire one red and one black. Each wire should have a connector lug at one end and a spade lug at the other. Once your wires are prepared, you're going to begin mounting pogo pins and magnets to this top plate. Using the provided M5 by 30 millimeter bolts and nuts, connect these magnets to the top plate. However, be very careful and use the universal tool mount if necessary to ensure that these magnets are being installed with the proper polarity. If they are upside down, they will not be able to support the weight to the tool mount. The magnets are installed by putting them through the smaller of these three holes in the center of the tool mount and mounting the nut to the underside. Now that your magnets are properly installed, your next step is going to be connecting the pogo pins. To begin with tool verification, take this plate and mount it connecting the holes B and C. Once your tool verification plate is fully installed, your next step is going to be installing your wires. Take the red spade lug and connect it to hole I. Next, take the black spade lug and connect it to hole F. Once your wires are securely connected to the top plate, making sure that they're snug as these are responsible for the electrical connection to the motor, take these terminals and connect them to the motor. Red to the positive, indicated by the red mark, and black to the negative. With the connections made to the motor, twist the top so that those connections and wires can be contained within it. Ensure that the weeder label is pointed towards the outside of the angle. 
This will ensure that it is angled properly once it is connected to the UTM. Using four M3 by 20 millimeter screws, screw the top plate down onto the housing. Once your top plate is securely connected to the rest of the housing, your assembly is nearly complete. All that remains is the final step of taking the hub and pressing it securely onto the axle, like so. Once this is connected, you're ready to mount it to your UTM and begin working. Please see the more information provided in the documentation of the device to know how to assemble the electrical components within the electrical box. Hello, my name is Cody Clark and I'm a mechanical engineer here at Liberty University. My responsibility is to oversee the aesthetic and functional design of the tool. The Weed Whacker tool underwent successful testing. These tests were performed to verify the integration of the tool into the FarmBot system and test the capabilities of the tool. The FarmBot system was able to retrieve the tool from a storage tray, move to the location of the target plant, turn on the Weed Whacker, and cut off the plant. Even while using very dense plant material, the device was able to withstand the majority of the tests it was subjected to.